this is a quick video why LeBron is not better than Jordan. Take a look at J.R. Smith when he comes to the bench. This is the end of regulation in game one. Look at LeBron James. And we understand that J.R. Smith is frustrated, but as a leader of your team, as the self-proclaimed king of the NBA, your job is to make sure that, hey, man, we got an overtime, man, we got some minutes to play, we got a chance to win this. We shouldn't even been this close. We are this close. We got a chance. Regroup yourself, get it together, be a leader. You know, look at LeBron James, he's so standoffish. He's looking to the left, he's looking down. You can tell his mind isn't in the game. But not only that, he's not even paying attention to no one. He's looking up. He's chewing on his mouthpiece. He has not looked at J.R. Smith once. The only reason you should be this upset is the game is over. The game is not over. There's plenty of time left on the clock. We have a whole nother regulation. If you look at the game one overtime, they played pathetic. They look like they were completely out of it. And this is the imagery that you get as to what really was wrong with them in overtime. Let's take a look at LeBron. Now look at him. Now he's talking to, look at how he's talking to the coach. Look at how he's looking at Tyron Lue. Look at him. That's supposed to be your coach. There he got his head down. Look at him. He's upset. He's like a fucking child. He's over emotional. Like, why do, we, why do we put this guy on a pedestal as being the king of anything in the NBA? No way in hell this is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan regroups everybody. Michael Jordan is actually standing up. He's talking to J.R. Smith. Hey, man, look, you, you fucked up. You made a mistake. Look, man, we got an overtime. And, and look at the only person that's fired up is the person in the background right there clapping. And uh, that's Thompson. Was that Thompson over there clapping? Even Thompson was like, man, come on, man, get in the game. And look at LeBron. He looked like he's just ready to leave right now. Like, he wish he could just leave game one and just go to Philly. No pun intended. But I started to let y'all know something. Like, I don't know why we put LeBron James on his pedestal. Like, he's even close to Jordan's status, Magic status, or any other legendary players. That's all I got to say. I'm out.